In a world where innovation often dances at the edge of our imagination, there are rare instances that etch themselves into the annals of memory, forever changing the landscape of entertainment. Cast your thoughts back to that serendipitous juncture when you first crossed paths with the 1976 television masterpiece, The Bionic Woman. Do you recall the twinge of anticipation, a shimmer of curiosity in your eyes as you embarked on a journey that melded technology and humanity in ways previously unexplored? Perhaps it was the arresting presence of James Somers, portrayed by the inimitable Lindsay Wagner, that pulled you into her orbit. Her courage and resilience, amplified by the bionic enhancements bestowed upon her, made you ponder the essence of being human and the limits of our potential. Or could it be the palpable tension that wove through each scene as Jane navigated the complexities of her dual existence? A woman with a heart as tender as a whisper, yet with the power to move mountains. Amidst the cascading torrents of nostalgia, moments that stand as sentinel memories might flicker through your mind's eye. Was it the resounding echo of her bionic leap, defying gravity and echoing the aspirations that live within us all? Or perhaps the quiet moments when her bionic ear listened to the world's secrets, reminding us that true power often lies in listening, not just to the noise, but to the whispers that matter most. As the screen flickered with emotion, the bionic woman left an indelible mark, sparking conversations about humanity's symbiotic dance with technology that still resonate today. But the story doesn't end there, oh no, dear reader. Behind the scenes, a tapestry of intriguing facts weaves the fabric of this iconic show. Did you know that Lindsay Wagner's portrayal was so compelling that it led to her own spin-off series? The show's influence wasn't limited to the script, as it played a role in the discourse about women's roles and representation in the media. So, let us venture deeper into the annals of trivia, where the threads of behind-the-scenes tales await. Discover the secrets of the bionic sound effects and the interplay between fiction and real-world innovation, all woven into the tapestry of the bionic woman. There's a treasure trove of insights awaiting your curious gaze. And with that, let the curtain rise on the myriad facets of this television gem, as we delve into the captivating anecdotes and hidden gems that make the bionic woman a timeless marvel. So, fasten your seatbelt and ready your imagination, for this journey promises to be nothing short of extraordinary. Lindsay Wagner's ascendancy to top billing in the bionic wedding TV movie reunion marked a compelling twist in the trajectory of the famed 1976 TV series, The Bionic Woman. Despite Lee Major's subsequent success with The Fall Guy in the 1980s, Wagner's prominence endured in the cultural lexicon. The remarkable chemistry between Wagner's James Somers and Major Steve Austin initially propelled the franchise, but it was Wagner who carried its legacy into the reunion. However, the 1976 series legacy was not solely defined by billing shifts. The introduction of the familiar opening theme music in the third episode of season one proved pivotal. That iconic theme, ingrained in collective memory, resonated deeply with audiences, transforming it into an auditory emblem of the show's enduring allure. Beyond Wagner's billing and the theme's resonance, it was her groundbreaking Emmy win that etched the bionic woman into the annals of television history. In an unprecedented feat, Wagner clinched an Emmy for her portrayal, marking the first time a woman received the prestigious accolade for acting in a sci-fi series. This watershed moment not only elevated Wagner's status, but also underscored the show's progressive narrative and Wagner's remarkable embodiment of James Somers. While Major's subsequent endeavors captured their own success, it is Lindsay Wagner's legacy as the emblematic bionic figure that remains indelible. Her top billing in the reunion movie, the resonating theme music, and the groundbreaking Emmy victory collectively cemented the bionic woman's enduring impact on both television and cultural norms. In the evolving tapestry of television history, the bionic woman stands as a testament to Lindsay Wagner's enduring influence, a fact that radiates through her top billing, the iconic theme, and the historic Emmy win. The bionics may have been fictional, but the mark left on television's landscape is nothing short of extraordinary. Lee Major's jealousy, unveiling tensions behind the scenes of the bionic woman in the summer of 76. Lindsay Wagner's The Bionic Woman soared to new heights, captivating audiences with its futuristic allure and high-octane intrigue. Yet, beneath the show's glossy surface, simmered a tale of on-screen rivalry turned real-life drama 
a narrative that disrupted not only the bionic universe, but also the careers of its iconic stars. The hit series, spun off from The Six Million Dollar Man, was an instant sensation, introducing Wagner's James Somers as the titular character who underwent groundbreaking bionic enhancements. But as the show's popularity grew, so did the tensions between its leading actors. The clash reached its peak during the transition from ABC to NBC, as industry winds whispered about Lee Major's unexpected absence from the bionic woman. Previously, Majors had guest starred as Colonel Steve Austin, the charismatic astronaut come bionic man, in a seamless crossover between the two shows. However, when the network switch occurred, contractual obligations proved a formidable barrier. Majors remained contractually bound to ABC, making appearances on the rival network of virtual impossibility. This contractual quagmire was emblematic of the strife that was increasingly characterizing Major's relationship with his co-star. An extra who had worked on the bionic woman divulged that an incensed Majors had once stormed onto the set, asserting that the show's mounting success was overshadowing his own series, The Six Million Dollar Man. According to this account, Majors demanded a rebalancing of production priorities, clamoring for a surge in episodes featuring his titular character. This clash of egos reportedly stemmed from Majors' envy of the rising ratings of the bionic woman. Curiously, this rivalry wasn't confined to the human cast. The third season welcomed Maximilian, the bionic dog, to the fold. However, the four-legged character came at a cost, an eye-watering $1 million, aptly reflective of its name. This astronomical price tag, though symbolic of the show's ambitions, mirrored the monetary magnitude of the strife brewing behind the scenes. In the end, the bionic feud subsided, much like the on-screen perils the characters faced week after week. As the bionic woman ultimately concluded, so did the era of bionic battles both on and off the screen. Yet, the whispers of a rivalry fueled by ratings and pride continue to echo through the annals of television history, a testament to the unforeseen complexities woven into the fabric of a seemingly flawless entertainment phenomenon. In the world of 70 Seconds Television, where bionics reign supreme, the undercurrent of tension between Lindsay Wagner and Lee Majors serves as a potent reminder that even superhuman characters are bound by human emotions, and that the art of storytelling is as much about the drama on screen as the dramas that unfold behind the scenes. The Bionic Woman, the iconic 1976 TV series, captivated audiences with its futuristic narrative and groundbreaking portrayal of bionics. At the heart of the show was James Somers, a character whose name garnered attention not just for its connection to the series, but also for its linguistic adaptation in different cultures. In France, the show adopted the moniker Super Jamie, utilizing two as to avoid phonetic confusion. The linguistic intricacies of the French language necessitated this alteration, as pronouncing Jamie risked invoking thoughts of bedtime attire, while Jamie veered close to the French verb for love, Jamie. This linguistic alteration showcased the show's global impact and the thoughtful measures taken to preserve its essence across languages. Interestingly, James Somers' bionic journey drew parallels to an unexpected source, the X-Men comic books. Cyclops and Jean Grey, beloved characters in the X-Men universe, faced a dilemma similar to James. Their son, Nathan Somers, was afflicted by a disease, prompting them to send him into the future. There, his body was transformed into a cyborg named Cable, accentuating the show's thematic resonance with comics of the era. Just as Cable's humanity endured within his mechanized form, James Somers navigated her bionic enhancements while staying true to her core identity. Notably, the show introduced another bionic marvel in the form of Max, the bionic dog. Portrayed by several German shepherds, Max was a canine wonder in season three seconds episodes The Bionic Dog, parts one and two. To bring Max to life, the production required a dog unfazed by flames, comfortable enough to ignore tantalizing food, and agile enough to tackle a treadmill. Max's character underscored the series' exploration of the limitless possibilities of technology and its integration into everyday life. The Bionic Woman left an indelible mark on television history, not only for its trailblazing portrayal of bionics, but also for its subtle nods to linguistic nuances and unexpected narrative connections. As viewers tuned in week after week, they were transported to a world where the extraordinary became ordinary, and the boundaries of human capability were forever redefined. 
Lindsay Wagner's unexpected journey into television stardom began with a leap, quite literally. In 1976, her portrayal of the iconic character Jane Somers in the Bionic Woman series captivated audiences, but the path to her own show was paved with an intriguing twist of fate. Initially introduced in the Six Million Dollar Man series, Lindsay Wagner's Jane Somers made her debut as the titular character's love interest. The episode, titled The Bionic Woman, showcased her as a tennis pro whose life takes an unexpected turn after a skydiving accident. The storyline and Lindsay's performance resonated so deeply with viewers that it marked what was supposed to be her final role under contract with Universal Studios. However, the public's reaction was nothing short of electric. Wagner's portrayal of a fiercely independent woman who undergoes bionic augmentation garnered immense acclaim. Audiences found her relatable, empowered, and intriguing. In an unforeseen turn of events, the character Jane Somers was given her own platform, leading to the birth of the Bionic Woman series. Premiering in 1976, the show revolved around Jane's life as a schoolteacher, a striking departure from the typical roles women were often confined to on television during that era. As an educator, she brought her bionic abilities into the ordinary world, teaching students valuable life lessons while occasionally employing her extraordinary powers to tackle unexpected challenges. Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of James Somers challenged norms and inspired a generation, making her a cultural icon and solidifying her place in television history. The series not only showcased cutting-edge special effects, but also represented a shift in the portrayal of strong, capable women on screen. In retrospect, Lindsay Wagner's transition from a one-episode character to the star of her own series stands as a testament to the power of audience response and the timeless appeal of characters who break the mold. The bionic woman not only introduced the world to a new kind of superhero but also paved the way for greater inclusivity and representation in television. And so, from an unexpected leap into the spotlight to a groundbreaking portrayal of a schoolteacher with bionic abilities, Lindsay Wagner's journey remains a remarkable chapter in the annals of television history. As we bid adieu to the captivating realm of the bionic woman, we stand at the crossroads where nostalgia intertwines with the future. Much like James Somers herself, we've embarked on a journey of empowerment, innovation, and human connection. This series, born in the vibrant tapestry of 1976, left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds, reminding us that strength knows no boundaries. With each bionic leap, each heartfelt moment, and every battle against the odds, the bionic woman beckoned us to consider our own extraordinary capabilities. Through the lens of science fiction, it probed the very essence of humanity, challenging us to reflect upon the potential that resides within us all. As we bid farewell to this iconic show, we invite you to dive into the sea of your own memories and experiences. What is it about the bionic woman that resonated with you? Was it the unwavering spirit of overcoming adversity? The dance between human fragility and technological prowess? Or perhaps the bonds formed amidst the chaos of a high-tech world? Share your reflections, your favorite episodes, and the characters who etched their presence into your heart. The legacy of the bionic woman is more than just pixels on a screen. It's the echo of our own aspirations, the reminder that we can all be a little bionic in our own unique ways. So, as the final curtain falls on this extraordinary chapter, let's raise a metaphorical glass to the memories, the lessons, and the dreams it sparked within us. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane, for relishing in the extraordinary, and for sharing your thoughts. Your presence enriches the tapestry of fandom, and your stories keep the spirit of the bionic woman alive. Until our paths cross again, keep embracing your own bionic spirit and celebrating the magic of human resilience. With gratitude and a nod to the bionic within us all.